The Landscape Tools widget allows you to add existing landscapes to Map Studio, create new ones, or upload landscapes. Along the top, we'll see the Add to Map tab, Create New, and Upload. If you've already created landscapes in IFTDIS, you'll see a list of those here that you can add to Map Studio. And you can either search for those by name or filter by map extent. To create a new landscape in Landscape Tools, you can go to the Create New tab and either draw a rectangle on your own with the Select Draw mode. And you can see the overall area is listed here, as well as the coordinates. Alternatively, you can create a landscape with the rectangular extent based on a shape or AOI. By default, landscapes in IFTDIS will come with an approximately 5 kilometer buffer area around the area that you choose. This buffer area is needed for models such as landscape burn probability that requires ignitions to be placed outside of a landscape for fires to burn into the area. It's also useful for minimum travel time fire spread. For example, if you want to simulate an ignition that occurs outside of your landscape and burns into it. Scrolling down, we can choose our version of land fire, our fire behavior fuel model, 40 or 13, and the folder in which the landscape will be stored. From there, you can name the landscape. I like to add some details such as the version of land fire, since these landscapes are viewable in drop-down menus throughout IFTDIS and usually don't have the folder associated with them, so a little bit of extra information in the name tends to be helpful. Then click Create, and landscapes generally take a few minutes to build. We can either navigate away from this, uh, do other processes in IFTDIS, and then come back and check our workspace, or we could stay in Map Studio, visit the Add to Map tab, filter by map extent and see the status of our landscape. It has just been submitted. Once the landscape's ready, it'll have the full checkbox next to it, where you can click and add the landscape to Map Studio. You can also upload landscapes to IFTDIS from your local computer using the Upload tab. Uh, in order to upload a landscape, there are some requirements. Uh, it cannot be zipped, and it has to be a GeoTIFF file. There are some other size and band requirements, and those are found in the Help. We've also got a quick link here to the Help page in the Landscape Tools widget Upload tab. And you can see all the requirements listed here, as well as information on clipped landscapes, band checks, and other information. To upload a landscape, you can click the Upload Landscape button, select the file from your computer, and IFTDIS will do a quick initial scan of the landscape. We'll see some summary data displayed. We'll have a chance to keep or change the landscape name and the folder that it's stored in. We'll also have a chance to include a buffer. Uh, the buffer is the default. And what this does is just carve out a approximately three mile buffer around the edge of your landscape. This allows it to be run in landscape burn probability models or any other parts of IFTDIS that require that landscape burn probability modeling, such as risk assessment. We'll click Add, and we'll get a confirmation box just double checking on whether or not we want to include that buffer in our landscape. I'll we'll click Yes. And it's submitted, but it is still processing, so to see that status, we can go to Workspace, 
you can see the status here is building. And it's useful to select the file because here in the right hand metadata panel, we can see its status and a status message. So if the landscape fails for some reason, we'll see the exact reason listed here and that'll allow us to make whatever necessary changes are needed and try to re-upload the landscape. And once the landscape is ready, we can click view on map to view the landscape in Map Studio.